What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Jose Ortiz from ThroughTheFrame.com and today I kind of wanted to give you guys a short little room tour, desk tour kind of thing. Uh, I'm in the process of going a little bit more minimalistic so I'm in the process of actually changing around my office a little bit but for the most part what you're seeing now is what's going to stay. A uh, few uh, visual things are going to be moved around, you know, make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but for the most part, this is my office. So what we see here is the center of the show. This is my 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina display. Uh, has the 256 gigabytes internal hard drive space. And I have it propped up on a 12 South high rise. See right there, you can see through it. You can see through to the TV behind it. <laughs> right here in front is the 12 South compass that I use to take uh, my iPad on the road with to use as a secondary monitor. I recently did a short little uh, first impressions video of the Duet display app that I utilize with it in conjunction with the laptop and a lightning wire to make my iPad Pro 12.9 inch a secondary display. So go ahead and go check that video out. I'll link it in the description below. There you go. You can see it says high rise. <coughs> Here is an M2 mobile video stand that I prop my iPhone up, which is what I'm shooting this video on right now. All of it's just real raw. I'm shooting everything straight from the camera, mic, everything. Here is my power bank. My Vornado fan. This thing is a beast on the desk. It shoots out a ton of air, especially here being in Texas where it is extremely hot. There is the left speaker of my Klipsch THX speakers. That I have. It's a 2.1 system. Nothing too fancy. Uh, some pens. Uh, special pen right there. It's got a little camera on it when you click it. Does that kind of cool? Pick that up at my local Barnes. No, actually, not Barnes and Nobles. Actually, from Half Price Books. Uh, and there is some lead for my pencil, my Japanese writing pencil. And there's just a few other knickknacks. Here is my Logitech keyboard, and I know everybody likes to look at the models and stuff. There it is right there. It's the Logitech Easy Switch keyboard, the K811, K811. Pretty cool keyboard. You can switch between three different Bluetooth uh, pairings. I only have it paired to the first one. I don't really have multiple devices. My other device that I use in here, my other laptop, is a Surface Pro tablet, but <clears throat> it has its own keyboard and everything like that, so I just pretty much have it used for the computer. This mouse right here is amazing. This is a wireless, it's a gaming mouse. It's meant for gaming. You can see right there, there's all the buttons. But I found that all these programmable macro buttons are awesome when editing. So it is the, in case you can't see right there, the Logitech G602. Awesome. Batteries work amazing on this thing. They last, I believe they're still the same batteries that I got when I purchased this thing, which was about six months ago. has a little button right here that you can utilize to go right there is endurance, which means not really utilizing too much DPI. <clears throat> but if you move it forward, that's performance. When it turns blue, that means it can start utilizing a lot more of the mouse. Buttons are very responsive. <clears throat> Moving on, this is a Seagate 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now I know 500 gigabytes doesn't seem like a lot. I got it because it is super, super thin. Nice 3.0 USB drive. You can see it's right there. So Seagate, it's a slim for Mac portable drive. I picked this up at my local Apple store. I got it because, I, like I said, guys, look how thin this thing is. I mean, it's pretty much the thinness of the MacBook. So that's pretty cool. There's the right speaker right there to my sound system. See the subwoofer and the main volume. Nothing too fancy. Here is my here's my Just Mobile speaker stand that has some Beats wireless uh, studio wireless headphones. You can hear some music going on right now. There's my Starbucks coffee cup and my Punisher Arctic cup. You can see it's not a Yeti. It says Arctic on there. I was not going to spend 50 bucks practically on a cup. For one, for 20 bucks, that does the same thing. Sitting on a Star Trek coaster. And then this is my <clears throat> X-Track massive mouse pad. You can see it pretty much takes up the entire desk. 
And then you can see over here throughout the mess, there is a TV over there. It's a Dynex 42 inch that's kind of floating up in the air. Uh, got a picture of my dog right there. He passed away about a year ago, and my wife made that for me. That's pretty awesome. And then you see down there, there's my comics that I have. Uh, here is a 7 port uh, USB hub that I have running on my MacBook. Uh, you can kind of see in the background right there where the mouse or where the Apple logo is. That's a 24 inch uh, cinema display, Apple display. Uh, but just recently took it off because I'm going to, like I said, be kind of downsizing and just utilizing this screen and the iPad as a secondary monitor if I do need it. Alright guys, well again this is Jose Ortiz from ThroughTheFrame.com I'm going to be doing a separate video of my Surface Pro area workspace which is right over here and I can go real quickly Boom, real quick So once again guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button or hit the thumbs down Leave some comments down at the bottom Again guys, I really appreciate all of this I read all the comments and respond to those so Again, go ahead and leave those comments down below. Good or bad, I take them all. And again, guys, this is Jose Ortiz. Always remember to think through the frame.